Okay, beautiful beings, we're gonna make a pocket. This is from Fiskars. And it's called Build a Tree. Okay, and that's all you all the stamps you get right there. Leaves, a bird, a squirrel, flower, even a snowflake if you want it to be winter. Okay, and that's what they look like. There's the tree, and then there's more little stamps and more stamps. Okay, what we're gonna do, I got a piece of cardboard that fits on the cardboard. It's just from the other remains of the piece of pizza box. And I'm gonna take my ink, which is archive ink, and this is really old, so it might not show up that way, which I don't care about that. I just want the pattern so I can cut it out, okay? I just want the pattern so I can cut it out. I'm gonna ink this up. And I didn't get enough ink. Like I said, this one's really old. And I even put some refill stuff in here and it doesn't seem to be working. Let's try rubbing it. Let's rub it. <laughs> it's not working either. It's not even like coming up on it. Really. All right, now it is. I guess just certain spots think showing up. As much as I want. Wait, let's see. All I need is a pattern anyway, because I'm just going to cut it out. And I don't care if it's crooked, I just want it to all fit nicely on there so I can cut it out. Okay? So let's make sure we got every inch of the tree. And we do. And that's all I need. Okay? And I'll be back when I cut that out. Okay, I wanted to show you what I was doing with the tree. I made the branches a little longer. I don't like that. And right there. All right. I went past the branches because I wanted them longer because I wanted it a little bigger. Okay. And I did all that. All I did is go up. I'm going to cut this off so it's easier to get in there. Then I went in beside the stamp and went down, got down in there, curved around, up, cut, and cut this out just so it's easier to get in there again. And I'm gonna go around the trunk so it's bigger. Okay. And cut the little piece off. And there is our tree. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. We're gonna put some Pueblo on this little tree because I want the edges to stand out against the card stock that we're putting it down on. Okay. Okay, second coat, I'm gonna show you. You can leave it on a piece of paper and then just push against the sides and it should paint it because this is so small, it'd kind of be a pain in the butt trying to <laughs> get the paint on the edges. So just push against the edges. Do it this way. I just thought I'd show you that little tip. Instead of trying to hold it and take paint off while you're trying to put paint on the edges. And at the same time, you're doing the edges, you're putting another coat on it, okay? So just push against the edges while you're doing this. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna put a tree behind this tree to cover this up, okay? So all I'm doing is doing a real thin tree. 
it's got really long it's gonna be one that just the branches don't go out far and I want to show you I do is draw a line up and make a branch let's say this tree was trimmed or it's just a tree that the branches don't get long okay and then just keep going up make sure your trunk stays aligned <laughs> with the other ones now the top i'm not too sure of um i might just i don't know maybe put one on the other side and have this come up and stop and then put a little one like right here okay just go look at some trees and that will be your guide. We're just gonna do this. And then go down like that. And we're gonna go over like that. And that will be the top of the tree. Okay? Dude, because this one's gonna look rugged, okay? But we're gonna do the base in this color instead of this. We put the beige on the big tree. On this one, we're gonna start out with coffee bean. Okay? start out with coffee bean and of course this is a thick paint so I just want to try to get that down but this is the thick paint is going to be very very good for bark okay but let's get the make sure we get the sides okay beautiful beings we're going to add Pueblo paint and I got two brushes all I want to do is add bark that's what I want to do so I'm going to start down here and I'll probably paint over this but I want the effect of bark and I'm hoping this is going to be thick enough I kind of want that color in the background, so I'm going to wait for that to dry, and then I'm going to do it with the burnt lumber. And I know for sure that this will have lots of texture because this is way thicker, okay? So I'll let that dry, and then we'll go over spots with the burnt lumber. Hey, beautiful beings. As you can see, I'm doing my trees all in the same one paper so I can throw this paper out when I'm done. All right, we're going to start up here. And I just want texture. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm not going to try to cover the pupil color. I'm just going to apply texture to the tree. When that dries, or anything else dries first, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, for this little one, I'm going to use this brush and this brush. This one's dried, and this is pretty much dried, too. But I'm going to use this to put dabs on. Then I'm going to run this through for texture of the chalk. And we'll, that way we'll have two te textures. I don't know if I showed you with the other brush. I was going like that. And if you can see, it did create a little bit of a texture. Hopefully you can see that. So we'll have two different textures on this tree. Okay. Not going to open it over the project. <laughs> Just in case. It's bubbling too. Right, so I'm going to take this brush. And I'm just going to start up here put dobs, big dobs, so I can just run the other brush through the big dobs, dabs, whatever you want to call them. 
but I still want some of the other color to show. There we go. I'll try to lift this up so I can show you. See the texture. Close. Cover the bottom. There you have it. Okay, beautiful beings. Figured I'd show you the finished result of our tree. Up close. Here's the texture. they turned out very well even this funky looking tree <laughs> there's our little one someone said it looked like an apple tree then I figured I might as well show you this one in my next video I will show you what I did with these. And I show you how to make this one in my other video. Okay? There's the trees. They're beautiful everything. <laughs>